even as cyclone Vipurjoy has passed by from Maharashtra, the effect of it can still be seen along uh, the coastal parts uh, in the state. Uh, here at Marine Drives, while uh, 39, 309 is when uh, the low tide is expected, what is in fact being seen is that waves are flowing in at a higher speed, uh, they are at a higher level as compared to uh, the normal. Apart from that, this morning around 9.31 when there was a high tide, uh, the waves were flowing at even higher uh, higher speed and at a higher level than what it is currently. Uh, the visuals from Marine Drives clearly show that wind speed is also higher than a normal. This in fact also comes in in the wake that Mumbai is witnessing pre-monsoon showers. Uh, these pre-monsoon showers uh, have uh, started hitting over the last two days. What in fact would now be seen is that over the uh, next uh, few days, once the effect of cyclone Bipurjoy uh, reduces is when Mumbai uh, would witness monsoons full-fledged. Ever since the last two days, late last night, there have been uh, drizzles. Apart from that, uh, there have also been heavy showers uh, that have rapidly been hitting the city. Of course, uh, the arrival of southwest monsoon has been delayed uh, in Mumbai uh, because of the cyclone. But uh, once the effect, that is once uh, Bipurjoy uh, hits over towards Gujarat is when Mumbai will see the arrival of southwest uh, monsoons. Apart from that, since the last two days, Mumbai has been witnessing uh, the wind speed of anywhere between 30 to 50 uh, kilometers per hour, and uh, which is where there have been four teams who have been uh, kept on alert. Uh, the four teams of National Disaster Response Force, which have been kept on alert in uh, Mumbai as well. They have been deployed uh, in Kanjurmark and uh, places around Ghatkopar. And if required, they would also be bought to service. As of now, in uh, Mumbai, fishermen have been asked to keep away from sea. Apart from that, along uh, the promenade areas, also along beaches, be it the Marine Drive promenade or uh, the Chopati or at Juhu beaches, people have been asked to people uh, people have been asked to stay away uh, from beach as a precautionary measure. There have also been uh, coast guards uh, who have been uh, deployed uh, there because uh, more recently, uh, just two days back, we saw that at Juhu beach there were uh, six youngsters who had uh, who were sitting around uh, the Koliwara area. It was a huge wave that uh, washed them away. It's been, there have been more than four deaths which have been reported in this case. In fact, even Indian Coast Guard was deployed uh, to ensure uh, that they could uh, find uh, these boys, but uh, there have been more than four deaths which have been reported in this case, uh, which is where we see as a precautionary measure all these promenades and apart from that beaches have been, have been asked to, um, have been kept uh, vacated until the effect of cyclone reduces. Apart from that, when you speak of areas such as Palgar, until uh, from June to 15th is where there is uh, a complete ban on people visiting around the coastal areas. Of course, there are showers that are being witnessed, but the most effect of uh, Cyclone Bipurjoy is seen around uh, Gujarat, especially around Saurashtra and Kutch, where the cyclone would in fact uh, be hitting. Uh, it is expected by tomorrow evening is when the cyclone would hit at uh, those places. 18 NDRF teams have been deployed there, apart from that Oka which will be the worst affected amongst this. Uh, there have been more than 20 people who have been uh, evacuated from there. Also around Port Bandar and Dwarka, there has been heavy deployment. People are being rehabilitated uh, from those areas. And apart from that, uh, at oil rigs, there are more than 50 people who were uh, working until the uh, day before yesterday, which have, people from there have also been evacuated. As of now, Home Minister Amit Shah, as well as Prime Minister Narendra Modi, have taken a stock of the situation. They have spoken to uh, Gujarat CM Bupinder Patil, and his, they've asked uh, people who are staying around the coast uh, to be evacuated, to be rehabilitated and be provided with food and shelter until the effect of cyclone reduces. Uh, this is the kind of precaution that's been taken in the wake of uh, the cyclone uh, Bipurjoy, which has headed towards uh, Gujarat. It has passed by from Mumbai, but even now, impact is being seen at various locations. And until tomorrow, uh, at various locations in Gujarat, be it, uh, be it Saurashtra or Kash, they've been all put under orange alert.